Hi there! Our story today is titled Atlantic. The author and illustrator is G. Brian Kareff. This week, our target skill is the author's purpose. This book is about the Atlantic Ocean. I will read it to find out if it tells a story or gives me information. While reading, I'm going to be thinking about why the author wrote it and what the author wants me to know about the Atlantic Ocean. This book is an informational text. Books that give information tell about things that are real. This book gives information about the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is real. Some informational texts are about one main topic and give details about that topic. While I read Atlantic, I will pay close attention to information about the Atlantic Ocean. I am the Atlantic Ocean. I begin where the land runs out at the ends of yards and streets and hills. I am the blue water at the beach, the waves, mist and storms. That salty smell is me too. I stretch from the icy poles, north and south. I rub shoulders with North America and bump into Africa. I slosh around South America and crash into Europe. But I don't end there. The Pacific and Indian, Arctic and Antarctic are my relatives. We are one big family. My friends, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Antarctic are all names of oceans. The Atlantic Ocean says that these other oceans are its relatives. How are all these oceans one big family? Yes. They are all big bodies of water, and they are all connected. My water doesn't stay in just one place. It travels from continent to continent. So that iceberg floating past someone's window one day will sometime find itself lapping at your toes on a warm, sandy beach. My fingers stretch out. Bays and inlets reach far into the land. Gulfs, seas, sounds, and channels lead to me and into me. They are me. I am here day and night, heaving, raging, lying still, scraping away at some land and putting it someplace else. Bit by bit, my shape changes, as it has for ages, sometimes growing, sometimes shrinking, never staying still. The sun, so many millions of miles away, heats my water, which turns into clouds and storms that rain into me, and it starts all over again. The moon, so far out in space, pulls at me and then lets go, so my tides go in and out, ebb and flood. First I was discovered, even though I was here first, and then conquered by men in big ships who named me. I've been crossed and probed, chartered, studied, dirtied. Fishermen know me. They know my oyster beds and seek out my schools of fish with hooks and nets, long lines and traps. My friends, what are some things that the fishermen catch? Fish, oysters, and how do they catch them? This page says that they're caught with nets, hooks, and traps. Good listening. Let's continue. 
artists paint pictures of me with cerulean, cobalt, and ultramarine. And poets know me with their beautiful words. The dancing shadow of your airplane skips over wave over wave with dolphins who sing and race with skates and whales and fish that fly. Seagulls sing to me, sand and pebbles rattle and clatter a chorus as I rush in and pull away. My words crash and whisper in your ear. Don't forget I'm here. I am the Atlantic Ocean. My friends, the author is giving us lots of information about the Atlantic Ocean, but in an interesting way. The text is written as if it were the... My friends, the author of this story is giving us a lot of information about the Atlantic Ocean, but in an interesting way. This book is written as if the ocean were telling us all about itself. It makes the ocean seem like something that's alive. What are some things that you learned about the ocean? Can you tell something that you heard in the story about the Atlantic Ocean? You can pause here so you can talk about it. Some things about me. I am not the Earth's largest ocean, that's the Pacific, but I have many miles of shorelines because of my inlets, bays, gulls, seas, sounds, and channels. Some people think of all the Earth's oceans as one, the world of or global ocean. If you were to empty me of all my water, you would find deep trenches, wide basins, and the Earth's longest mountain range, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. I move about in giant currents, like the Gulf Stream and the Brazil and North Atlantic currents, bringing warm weather to Ireland and dry winds to Africa. I have been around for ages, though I am from millions and millions of years of rain, I am the Earth's youngest ocean. In the beginning, the Earth had one ocean. I continue to grow a couple of inches wider each year. What will I look like 200 million years from now? I don't know. But for as old as I am, and as strong as I can be, I am in danger. What doesn't belong in my water are chemicals and people wastes, oil and garbage. Please treat me with respect. Thank you for reading with me. I hope you enjoyed our story titled Atlantic.